Hey, movie lovers, welcome. My name is Phil Svitek, and with all the Oscar buzz, I wanted to take a moment and reflect back on 2018 and highlight my top 10 movies that I just term as fun for reasons, of course, which I will explain. For my first pick, I choose Isle of Dogs by Anderson. He manages to use all the various techniques that he always does, whether it's whip pans or zooms, in a stop motion film. It's truly fantastic, and he also plays with language, with, with the Japanese and English, and, and it, it's just a lot of fun and it has heart. It's ultimately about man's best friend, and it says something that I think is very timely and in a, in a very interesting and compelling way. So I Love Dog is my first pick for a fun movie of 2018. For my second pick, I choose Blockers, which is a fantastic comedy. It's a raunchy comedy about prom night, but instead of it being about guys trying to get laid, it's about the girls trying to get laid. And I think not only does that separate it, but the heart with which these girls, ha it's just so honest and unique in the way it does things. And therefore, that's what brings about its funniness. And the assumptions that the parents make in their pursuit to prevent their daughters from, from having sex, I think is something that parents, I'm not one of them, but probably struggle with, and so they can find it funny. And also, it's kind of like almost cringeworthy for, for teens to watch it. So I think it manages to bridge both audiences very well. And you know, I, I can't pick a favorite you know, whether it's the parents or the daughters or even just the actors, everyone in this movie is so funny. And from start to finish, I'm left laughing from the moment that I saw, I knew I would love this movie for years to come. It's almost like for me, the new super bad. And so I can't say enough about this movie. It's just, it's just a blast to watch. My third pick in terms of movies that are fun from 2018 is Game Night. Who doesn't love, just the title alone, right? Who doesn't love Game Night? And the fact that this movie takes that concept of people getting together and playing charades and so forth and escalates it to its nth degree is just the most fun. And when you think you have that movie figured out, it, it, it does something, it, it, it turns it on its head. Jason Bateman and the rest of the class are just absolutely fantastic. Every one of the characters you can relate to or, or at least know that you have a friend or somebody that that is like that and that's what i truly appreciate about this movie so definitely check it out if you haven't done so already get your friends together have a game night and watch game night because it's a blast for my fourth pick of fun movies in 2018 i choose tomb raider i really think alicia vikander and this movie don't get enough praise i i think it's it's certainly no mission impossible but i really think that it's a great action genre film that deserves a franchise and deserves to continue. I really want to see her in this role. I think it manages to ground itself while still having the video game action elements all combined into one. I, I, and, you know, I think she's like, the, this version of, 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 of Laura Croft is really kind of like the, the um, Indiana Jones. And not to diminish Angelina Jolie's portrayal of it, I just think this one is, is a little bit more gritty and a lot more fun. So that's Tomb Raider. My fifth pick for fun movies of 2018 is Crazy Rich Asians. This was just a cultural phenomenon and this movie manages to do something quite unique, right? Have an all Asian cast, but it also manages to tell a very heartfelt story, a very universal story, and at the same time show that there are differences between being a Chinese American and being being Chinese and, and so forth, right? And I think that's very interesting to learn about and it does it in a humorous way, not, not too heavy handed. And again, there's that universality of how do you fit into someone else's family one way or the other, you know, your, your in-law doesn't love you. And one of the best parts about it is you, you get the fun in the title, Crazy Rich Asians, right? They're, they're, they're crazy, they're crazy rich, and um, you know, they don't have to be Asian to, to be insane with their money, but hey, it, it certainly helped in this movie and they, and they play it up for all intents and purposes and I absolutely love it. So that's Crazy Rich Asians. If you haven't seen it, uh, A, what are you doing? You must be living under a rock, but B, I highly, highly encourage you to check out that movie. For my sixth pick, I choose Bad Times at the El Royale. 
Now, this is kind of like a noir type film, so you might be saying, well, why, why is it on my fun list? Well, because the fun is in trying to figure out what the hell is actually going on. There's so much misdirection happening from start to finish that, that you're always computing in your brain, what is the end game? And what it ends up being is, is, is just a ton of fun. It reminds me of, you know, like Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians or something like that, even though it's not like a direct murder mystery, but there is, there's stuff happens and no one is who they say they are. And the way it, it plays with those expectations and, and reveals those plots is inventive. And so I truly had a blast with it. I, I'm saddened that it didn't do as well as I enjoyed it. So I hope that you watching this video will take the time now to go back and revisit Bad Times at the El Royale. If you love murder mysteries and things like that, I promise you won't be disappointed. So take my word for it. That's Bad Times at the El Royale. Now for my next movie is another thriller, murder, murder mystery type of movie starring Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively, and that's A Simple Favor. The, the trailers when I first saw them, I knew I would like the movie, but, but they actually didn't do them as much justice as the movie itself holds. The movie is not only a thriller, but it's, it, it's so much fun. There, there's things that are happening that you're laughing, but you know you shouldn't be. And that's what makes it fun, is, is that you're kind of with the characters, and then at a certain point, you get ahead of them, but you understand their motivations as, as to f what's happening, and you can have a, a moment of brevity. And, and and whatnot. So it, I won't spoil it, but there's so much that is jam packed into this movie. And Anna Kendrick as a mommy blogger is just fantastic. And kudos to Blake Lively for really taking her character and upping it to the nth degree. She, she just pulls out all the stops. I love watching her on screen. I think she's doing a fantastic job. Um, so that's a simple favor. And in fact, do me a favor. If you haven't already done so, go watch it. For my eighth pick, I had to put Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This movie came out towards the tail end of last year, and it is getting great recognition as it truly deserves. It's such a, the, the, the art form is so unique, and yet it's ground, like the music is fantastic, the acting is fantastic, uh, the, the, the central message of the movie is fantastic, the animation style blends at various elements together, and yet makes sense. It's truly, I encourage you while it's still out, go watch it on the big screen. Just a ton of fun and it, it appeals to both adults and kids. I think it crosses over. And I don't think you, you know, the nice part is you don't have to be into comic books. I know what, like in particular with Marvel movies, you, for, for a lot of people that I know, they look at it like, oh, I have to know like basically a hundred movies that came before this in order to understand this one. This isn't the case with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You get it. It's it's a self-contained movie, so go watch it. I encourage you. It's really, really fun. My next pick is Tag, which I think is very underrated. It it takes the notion of, of a simple game and really spins it on its head. It, it is based off a true story, and you're kind of wondering, well, how, how the hell is this going to turn into a movie? And they managed to do it quite well. You know, Tag is the means in which it brings together these people. And that's what really is. Tag, this game is just a jumping off point for the, for the friendships and the relationships that happen throughout this movie and the things that they're dealing with. And it manages to culminate into a very serious moment and then, uh, through their love of Tag, give it brevity and essentially be able to overcome any obstacles that come their way in life, which is a fantastic message, especially in today's day and age. So I highly encourage you to watch tag. And the last movie of 2018 that I thought was a lot of fun is Incredibles 2. Obviously Incredibles, the first one, did really amazing and people really loved it. It's been a long time coming as far as this one and I'm glad that overall it lived up to the weight, right? And so it, it was just a blast and, and, and it's on my list of fun movies. So there you have it. Those are 10 movies that I thought were just pure fun of 2018. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And more importantly, why? Right? That the, we can make all this we want, but it's the why that really makes it stand out. It, it allows us to learn about each other. And you've gotten to know me, hopefully, a little bit through my picks and reasonings. And I want to know from you. 
So by all means, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And for more videos like this or my weekly lessons that help creatives achieve their ambitions, subscribe to my channel and you'll get all of that. And I thank you in advance. Bye.